Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Drupal Studios channel. Today we're going to be continuing on with the Scratch RPG series and we are going to be making it so you can now buy items from uh, the shop. So the first thing that we want to do is create a new variable. Now I'm going to create a new variable and I'm going to call it uh, the name of the item. So I'm going to call it R sword. Uh, so I'm gonna R sword. There we go. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on the R sword. Scroll all the way up. Grab a set block. Go to control. I'm sorry, events. I'm going to if I clicked. Clean that up real quick. Backdrop. Uh, R sword. And we're going to set that to zero. Grab another if then so we're going to need three if thens but don't worry just grab one uh, grab the equal to uh, grab the r sword and put one then i'm going to duplicate that th i'm going to duplicate this three times well i'm going to duplicate it twice and then i'm going to put let's drag it over here put that in there now i'm going to grab another one I'm just going to zoom out. I'm going to get rid of that. Put that in there. Put that in there. And drag this one all the way to here. Grab this one. Grab this one here. Put that one in there. Put this one in here. Put that there. Clean them up. And that is now done. Hallelujah. So now, if we click play, uh, let's click R sword. So now it's zero, I believe. Uh, never mind, we've done it wrong. All right, now we haven't done it wrong. So let's get rid of that and let's duplicate that block again. Stick that back in there. Scroll down and let's zoom back in. All right, so what we want to do is grab, we can now get rid of that, uh, grab a and, stick that in there, stick that in there. Let's duplicate that, stick that in there, stick that in there, uh, boom. And as you can see, it is gone, nothing's happening. Lovely, jubbly. So now we can disable that. So now we can go ahead and access the shop. So if we go to the shop. So this is the shop. So we want it to buy a R sword. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the R sword and I'm going to call it R sword button. And then I'm going to grab a white box. I'm going to outline it in white with five. Now I'm going to get rid of all of them. So if we clean up blocks, keep getting rid of them like that. There we go. Now we haven't got any big ones. All right. So we want instead of open in, we want open shop. So if open shop one is equal to one, and if we want it to zero. We can get rid of that as well, and we can get rid of that as well, and we can also get rid of that. And so now your code for the button version should literally just consist of these two. Uh, there we go. It should consist of these two. And there we go. Okay, it's done. So it should consist of these two. Um, now, now, now we want to uh, when this right click, we want to set our sword to one. Grab a event, green flag clicked forever. So we can just grab a forever block, stick it there. Looks set ghost effect to 50. And I sh believe that should. So if we open the inventory, it's not there. Do that. We need to change the position of that. So 
and that is what I'm going to do. So that's those are the coordinates. So set this there. I'm actually just going to grab another. I'm just going to make a new forever. Uh, you guys don't have to do this if you don't want. I just want to lock it in place because I feel like it would make it a lot better. So minus one six seven and minus no one two five. There we go. So now we want to click on it, and our sword should now be fun. So if we come over there, open that, uh, as you can see, and I believe it behaves like a normal sword. It does. Lovely. Also notice how this doesn't, you know, go to the front layer we can just do this bit here so once we go to main chp let's go there because we have a bug which means that if we go into the shop uh never mind because uh, i just fixed it mm -hmm. but the health button was behind so we're gonna just go to operators or uh, let's duplicate that put that one in there put that one in there right click on the variable here or this one doesn't really matter change it to open shop or open shop one uh, click that in there let's hide this variable play uh, lovely that's not there we can drag it everywhere lovely jubbly go there um, click on the sword and it's above here now if we go back to our inventory it behaves like a normal sword lovely uh, now if you want to cost coins uh, all you have to do is go to the R sword button uh, where it says uh, when the sprite clicked we want a if then uh, or equal to or greater than and we want to set the cost of the thing here so let's just say 10 coins and put 10 for both uh, grab variable coins put them in both put that in there put that in there and I believe now if we don't have 50 coins so as you can see we have zero coins we can't buy it and I believe it doesn't appear it does not however now if we go coins it doesn't work uh, slider Let's get 100 coins. I think we can now buy it and uh, it appears. So now, what we want to do is deduct those coins. So we want to grab change coins by minus 10. So it has to be minus and whatever this number is. So it, so it takes your coins away. Uh, and I believe that should be it. No sword. Go over to the shop. We can't buy it because we don't have the coins. Let's give us those coins. As you can see there, now we have normal coins. We still don't have it. Let's open the shop. Buy the sword. And as you can see, it appears in the inventory. And we have 10 less coins than before. So if you guys did this, did enjoy this tutorial. Uh, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.